so this is a weird one because like personally like this is not exactly the kind of song i see character see but uh because it's not really my genre but i do have like a really good appreciation of like what they were trying to do and like like it's weird because when i first heard it like even though i was kind of like oh this is not really my genre but but like i was still kind of like impressed by what by what they were doing and on an objective standpoint like outside of my personal taste and i i think I, d- I don't see, really see many people giving this much of a hope, but I I can see the potential in this, like to be kind of like um, well not not be like food in the final level that Cesar Samson did, but like a similar kind of thing where it like the jury's like absolutely fall for this because like I do think like the song's biggest strength is that. It really complements and highlights his vocal ability and you know he sings it very well obviously he wouldn't have won the voice if he wasn't able to sing and um and like even though it's right before sweden you know big fan favorite like i think the song is distinct enough for that to not be an issue like you know it's not going to like they're not going to steal votes from each other or anything uh, especially like visually because i'm expecting them to bring some dances like in the video um and like i even though you know belgium are kind of hit and miss with this staging i i'm feeling a little bit confident because i feel like you know because jeremy is their most recent winner of rtbf's flagship talent show they probably have more impetus to like make more effort to make sure this looks really good and like especially like with the video like being like really kind of cinematic and like high budget like it shows that you know they it it kind of indicates to me that they want to make an effort with this so yeah i do think that this might be a dark horse for doing surprisingly well like as i said not like quite to the extent that says says our samson did and b- being third in the final but like i think like maybe this might be a more comfortable qualifier than people expect maybe i don't know like like for all i know the staging might end up being a disaster in the end and i might have to end up with a massive amount of egg on my face but like as of now i i feel like there's potential with this so yeah yeah okay um i agree with you kylie i think um jeremy's uh voice obviously stunning and it, and you're quite right the vo- the 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 song of miss you can elevate his voice and show off how great it is and how powerful it is when i first heard it i thought well yeah well even before i heard it i thought to myself oh yes right this year is rtbf it's their chance to um put the balloon side of belgium on the map again at eurovision because they haven't had a chance since 2019 wasn't it yes yeah so yeah so obviously they've had to wait a lot uh, a little longer than uh, the rt but Certainly, I think uh, Jeremy's uh, voice, uh, his stage presence, from what I've seen from the voice, um, his music video, and the way and where Belgium is presented in the second semi final, I think is all good for Belgium. I think it stands out really quite well between Montenegro and Sweden. And uh, um, I think that's what's going to really help it, uh, push it, push it through. And yeah, I feel confident for Belgium doing quite well and getting through to the grand final. Um, it's a, a a modern song, which again, like you, Kylie, it's it's not something that I would go out and seek out and listen to necessarily outside of Eurovision. Um, but I feel like this is very strong competitively, um, and uh, and I'm chuffed a bit for. Uh, 
for uh, for Belgium again because again it's one of my my soft favorite countries and um you know uh, it's amazing that um Xiaomi was the first artist to be announced um out of all of the songs uh, on the 15th of September last year uh, but obviously we didn't get his song till the 10th of March so they had a nice long period of like pretty, pretty much 6 months to put something together and I th- I feel very confident for Belgium. I really do. Yeah. Uh, what about you, John? Yeah, I, w- I would say that Wallonia keep hitting it out of the park with these um, artists that they keep finding from the Voice Belgique. Um, yeah. Yeah. And and they've had really good songs each time. And you know, re- recently I've been falling back in love again with Wake Up. Um, oh yeah, which this... didn't which didn't do which didn't do well on the night, but I still think is a great song. Yeah, me too. It yeah. was, and I just felt so sad for him not qualifying. But yeah, with you on that, John, definitely yeah. wake up's awesome. <laughs> yeah, and and once again, Jeremy is a, an amazing talent, and because of that, I really wanted to like this song. Um, I'm not really feeling it though, and um, I'd, I'd better leave it like that. Yeah, that's fair enough. I think like we share the same sentiments. It's kind of like we, even though <laughs> we're not that keen on the song, we do see the potential, kind of. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's. I think it's in the running for qualification, definitely. Okay, so anything else on Belgium before we give it a score? No, merci. No. Okay, so je donne la Belgique uh, trois points. It's three points for you English speakers there. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's only going to be deux. I'm really sorry. <laughs> so that's two. Okay. Uh, trois points pour moi. Merci. And another three. And the public, give it another three out of five. Thank you. 